In order to use WebScan, you first need to know the IP address of your printer. Go to the front panel of your printer and touch on the blue wireless icon. This will bring up the wireless summary and you can see the IP address as 192.168.1.2 If needed, you can also print the details for reference. Once you have gotten the IP address of your printer, key in into your Safari browser. This will bring up the Embedded Web Server or the EWS. Go to Scan. It's saying that you cannot use this function because it has been disabled. In order to enable that, you need to go to Settings. Under Settings, go to Security and select Administrator Settings. Once it's loaded, scroll down until you see Scan. You'll notice that the web scan from EWS is unchecked. You need to check on it and apply. Once that's done, you can go back to Scan. And this time it will bring up the web scan interface. So let's quickly go through some of the settings that you're able to set before you scan your document. Under document source, you can select it as glass or ADF. And since your printer supports two sided original, if you do select ADF, you'll find that the two sided is no longer grayed out and you can select two-sided original. Let's go back to glass. For the document type, if it's a document, you can select it as PDF or if you are scanning photos, you can select it as JPEG. The color preference is either color or black. For the paper size, and these are the various sizes that you can scan from your scan glass. Now for the quality settings, you can have a resolution for text of 300 dpi, a high of 600 dpi, a photo or even screen dpi of, uh, seven, of 75. So for the quality, you can select it from low all the way to high. You'll notice that if you select high, that the output file size will be slightly smaller. We'll leave it at maximum for now. So now you're ready to scan your document. Place it on your scan glass and click on Start Scan. The web scan will open a new browser window and display the scanned document. So this is the document that you have scanned. You can zoom out and you can even save it as a download to your computer. So now we have a next document too. This is the document that you have just scanned and it's in PDF format. So this is how you do a scan on a web scan using your Mac OS 10.12
on the HP OfficeJet Pro 8730.